All right, let's uh, get right back to it. So, um, I can fell right now. Oh, is there an autosave too? That's interesting. I am okay with that. I am okay with that. Yo, Aria, what's up? Did you just get here? I was talking about how... <laughs> um, I was just talking about how... How my day was going, but something that, that maybe you'd think was funny is that... Uh, when I was recording those rhythm guitars a couple days ago, I guess it was, that was Thursday, I think? Um, and I said, I was like, oh, I, I, I'd do it like the next day and I just I haven't done them and that's why I kind of wanted to to finish them all in that one session but maybe talking about it will motivate me enough to to actually do it tomorrow well I don't know I feel like I have problem um I don't know if it's like what you call it, like hyper focus or hyper fixation. Uh, once I've started on something, I, I really, really want to finish it, and but it's just hard for me to actually start in the first place. So um, I feel like that's a a big part of why I'm streaming. I've set a schedule, and now I've been doing it. Or, like, I feel like consistently, you know, like, on, on the schedule I've set, anyway, consistently I've been streaming for, what, like, four, three, four months or so? Um, hyperfixation is fun because it's dangerous to be in and hard to get into initially, but real easy to get into on accident. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, I don't know, it's, it's weird. Um, I want to thank you again. For, for coming to hang out, because um, you and the other VIPs, you know, Emily and Poppy, who are always in here. I recorded some screams today, but it's a part where the scream type I chose for it is probably bad for the throat. Yeah, so my I don't know how to, to shout appropriately either. Um, I'm definitely damaging my throat every time. It's, it's it's rough, you know. It's like maybe I should take lessons, you know. <sighs> I hope your uh, your throat doesn't uh, suffer too much for having uh, shouted. All right, so I have three types. I did two of them. I have no idea how to do. But it seems that the throat I can do is my throat thing. <laughs> no idea how, no idea how to do them <laughs> deliberately. Oh no. All right. So we got the the thing that will remove this spirit from the door and then we can get into the library. That was what we were doing last night. That's why we went into the uh the alchemy lab. All right, Gwenora, rise and shine. Hmm. Stinky losers back again. <laughs> Good. I've thought of some lovely new names to call you. <laughs> We'd love to hear them, but we've got some important reading to do. Hmm. What are you playing at? <laughs> it's horrible. Good riddance. Okay, let's see what we can find. Yeah. <laughs> well, we didn't have the ward earlier. I don't know. Did she call us stinky yesterday? I don't even remember if she called us stinky yesterday. She did. <laughs> we didn't have the ward until just now. But it might be an association thing. I, I don't know. We've got a big orb here. There's an inscription. A model of the Summerstone designed by student Aveline Aragard. 
The stone, discovered by members of the coven in 528, is of unknown origin. Five meters in diameter, the stone emits a powerful, comforting energy. The priceless artifact is located inside of Eichenfell's spirit oval. Visitors and first-year students must make appointments to see the stone. Okay, so this isn't actually the stone. This is just a... A model. Okay, it is just a model. Wow, you can even skip... Like, this reading. Yo, that's cool. I guess it makes sense if they, uh, if the devs labeled even, like, this as a cutscene, that you can skip this. But that's really good for, like, repeated reading. Like, I just wanted to read the first few lines again, but you can just skip that. That's really cool. Also, I apologize in advance if my throat is weird. Um, I did eat pizza, and we all know how pizza just fucks up your throat. Delicious. Delicious. Pizza is delicious, but it fucks up your throat. Oof. Yeah, man, this just... That's just real life. That's just gotcha. Jesus. Hit that. Let's see. Hold up. I, I gotta... I gotta do it now. I hit that three... Let's hit that three percent, baby. Nope. These are the borrowing records. There's a lot. This might take a while. Sure. Are, are you all right, Marie? So, neither of you knew Safina had a sister? She never mentioned me, even once? Maybe she's embarrassed by me. Ooh, that's that's something I hadn't thought of. That would fuck you up. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just get reading. Chapter three. Oh, that was perfect. Chapter three. Bitter rivals. I can't do the. I was singing the Dark Cloud two chapter theme music yesterday, but I can't do that today. <laughs> Sorry. I'm blaming it on the pizza. I think I found it. The spell. No, but I believe I know where to find it. Hey, sleepyhead, get up! Uh, uh, uh. Uh, what did you find? Her borrowing record is, uh, sketchy as you'd expect. But one thing stands out. She borrowed a book called Adelheid's Jinxes and Wards. It should be on that shelf behind you. Here it is. This this is a really old book. What? This dusty old thing stands out like a sore thumb. How have I not noticed it before? Oh, come now. You can't know every single book in here. I wouldn't put it past him. He spends more time inside the library than outside of it. Hmm. This makes no sense. What? Well, what is it? The date on the book, it's marked 833. 833. So it was published, what, 300 years from now? Ridiculous. Maybe it's a mistake. Either that, or it completely predates our calendar system. But that would make this an extremely rare book. Definitely not something to be found in the common study hall. M maybe it's a prank. It looks legitimate. It's quite the elaborate and specific prank if it is. Here, check out this page. This looks like the barrier on Safina's door. I think you're right. It's not heart-shaped, but I bet Safina made that change herself. I don't understand the symbols. Does it say how to bust it? Every spell can be countered if you know what you're doing. But this involves some alchemy, so it's tricky for me. 
You're the alchemist now. Any ideas? Wait, right here. The homunculus symbol in the rune pattern. I well spotted. I think we can break it. Uh, explanation for the ordinary over here? The homunculus is the symbol of the small human. It usually means you cast the spell with your body as a vessel, instead of using a wand. Oh, okay, so that means we'd need her body to uncast the spell as well? You learn fast. So, you two don't see a hole in this plan at all. We don't have Safina, but we probably don't need her. Magic isn't mathematics, Marie. It isn't exact. It can be tricked. So we need to... Remember how you could trigger Saf's blood spell? It's kind of like that. We might be able to trick it into believing you're Safina. But it won't be enough on your own. We'll have to dress you up in Safina's clothes. Really? You think that'll work? The hard part will be finding some of those clothes. Safina's hat. When I was trying to get in, I found her hat on the ground outside the wall. But someone got to it before I did and claimed it. Can you describe them? Top hat. Charcoal jacket. Weird energy. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I've been a witch for ten minutes. Sounds like fle flair? Flower? Flower? Flu fluid? Hmm. Fluor? Fle 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 fleur? Hold up. Can we get, uh, can we get Google on this? Fleur. Fleur. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Google. Fleur. Fleur. All right. <laughs> Sounds like fleur, but I heard, but I hear she goes by black hat now. I would say fleur. Yeah. Well, that's basically what, it, yeah, that's basically what Google said. Fleur. 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 She's a traveler who comes up north from time to time. She used to upcycle our non-magical clothing into enchanted gear for us. But lately, everything she's enchanted has been hexed. Nobody knows why. I got a magic scarf from her in my first year. It's still my favorite one. I can't believe she's changed so much. How do we find her? She usually sets up shop near the old prison. Prison? Abandoned. The coven shut it down decades ago with the others. Foul places. It's haunted, so nobody goes out there. Black Hat's scary now. Last time we saw her, she said to watch out or we'll get bowled over. <laughs> Alright, um... In the grand, you know, in the grand pantheon of puns, I'd, I'd say a hat-themed character making hat puns is pretty good. <laughs> Oof. That's, that's a bad one. <laughs> you think- What? No, it's not. Shut up. She doesn't. She doesn't know. She doesn't get it. She just doesn't get hat puns. But that's fine. I'm gonna check it out. See what I can find. I'm coming too. I'm curious about all this now. Seth and I snuck out to see the prison once, so I know where it is. Are you coming along now? I I'm not staying here alone. I'll, I'll come. The prison is outside the school, so we have to leave the walls. We can open the gate from this side, so we won't need to take the passage. This song's pretty good too, actually. Now that I've had a second to listen to it. Was this tree... Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I'm, I'm like, I don't... Uh, that wasn't there before. It's huge. It... Is it Gwenora? Oh, it's a, it's a traveler oak. I read about these. 
They appear randomly maybe once or twice a century. It's amazing. The books say that they have memory. If you touch one, it will remember you, and you can travel between them by carrying just a single branch. That's kind of scary. The, the theory behind that's kind of scary, to be honest. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty scary. Alright, so... Where's the gate? Oh, thank you for, uh... Putting an arrow on my map. All this work just to get into Saf's st silly school, and now we're leaving already. The prison isn't that far. We'll be back soon enough. Yeah, unfortunately. Do you really hate Eichenfell that much? No, it's not that. It's just... First, my sister was abducted. Then I find out she was pretending I don't exist. It already hurt when I was rejected from her world for not having magic, but now that I'm here, I'm truly reminded of how much I don't belong. Hmm. It's somewhere around here. Here we go. Note to self, since I'm out of the school, I should go visit, um, the gem trader. I don't think I can... Oh, I can probably hit this character. Yeah. That's a new item. Nice. 
Alright. Great. Great. Uh, closed permanently. Creepy. This place sucks. Let's make this quick. <laughs> this place sucks. Black slime. Hmm. Too early. Hmm. Let's go! Fuck that guy. Let's go. Hmm. I wanted to use, um... Paper Storm when it was, a uh, Rook's turn again, but... Big explosion damage. Yeah, that's big damage. I'll have to be mindful of that. Fortunately, there's a save point right here. say the slime is probably the most dangerous enemy on the field right now, so let's take care of that first. Nice. Doesn't have a lot of HP, so that's good. the other one had so little HP left. Oh, 
I missed that one. It was a little. I was a little early still. Ugh. My day. So now we've got everyone away from this one. There we go. This should kill it. Something you may have noticed from yesterday. Um, the healing spell actually can't be used immediately. It has a two turn cooldown, including at the start of battle. So, unfortunately, you can't just uh, run away and heal. Uh, like, run into a, like, get into a fight, heal, and then run away immediately. So that's. I want to say it's balanced well, I guess, especially since there's a... Literally, you can just go back to the save point every two seconds. Um, something else that you may have noticed is that the um, the money that falls on the ground, um, obviously you have to go and pick it up, but before it disappears, there is a... Uh, it starts moving towards you a little bit. Just a little bit, you know? Which I think is a nice feature. So like that last go that last silver piece, I should say. It was um stuck in stuck in the uh box. And I couldn't get to it because it was just stuck, you know, in the background basically. And uh It started, you know, it floated towards me, right? It was starting to disappear.
Ugh. Something I wish this game did do, um, even though you can sort of see the the turn order like up above, um, it doesn't specify which enemy is next. Like these two are both the same enemy. You know what I mean? Um, and that's something that uh, I believe, like for example, <laughs> I keep saying it, Final Fantasy Tactics does do, um, it lets you know, like, which enemy is which, in addition to what order everyone's moving in, you know? I just wish they could, uh, specify, you know, which, um, which target is which, I guess. So yeah, we can wa we can watch the money. Yeah. Hmm. I guess I need another cell key. Once again, you come in here and it's some I didn't actually see this, like this black you know black space, um, until I came back in and I'm like oh, you know, but um, once again. The game's sort of like hinting that like, oh, you can go this way, huh? Huh. Twinkle toes. I wonder if any other, uh... Well, no, I guess that's the only bed that can move. That was actually a, a cool secret. <laughs> That hat witch has been acting strange. She's got lots of tricks up her sleeve, so I hope you're prepared. I think we'll be okay. Petronella does need more speed. Um, pretty kind of weak. Oh, that'll work. Just make her even more defense-based. Who else can wear dusties? I guess anyone can? I feel like he should wear these. I want him to be able to move around more.
somehow Petronella is like the best member of the party now? That's what it seems like. Tossing around different stats. Uh oh. Look at all these hats. Well, this is new. What's with all the hats? There. That one is Safina's. Rook. Marie, I, I don't like this. Yeah, this hat shop is super weird. Let's just grab it and go before she gets back. I see you found my friends. Oh, three of you. And not a single hat? Wow, rude. <laughs> Give me back that hat. It's not yours. It was on the ground, so... Mine. It's not. Belongs to my sister. Sister? Don't see her. Well, we're trying to find her. But we need her hat to do so. Sure, you can have it. Oh, well, uh, okay, then. Rim shot. Blur, what happened to you? You've never been cruel like this. There is no Fleur, only Black Hat. I'm okay now. The pun hurt more than anything else. I definitely feel it now. You're not nearly as tough as you pretend to be. We'll fight you for the hat, you, uh... Sh... Shop... Shopo? Shop... Shopo? Oh, it's a kind of hat. Shepo. <laughs> Chapoof... Sh Embarrassing. Yeah, I I'm sorry. My French is not... I never had French. Fine. You want it? Let's see if you can take it from me and my friends. Oh, we can skip cutscenes. It's fine. Alright. Cough up my sister's hat. You brought your friends to this party, so let's get some party hats. Saf? That's not her. It's a fetch, a shadow clone created from magic. Beautiful, no? Hmm. Who else should we invite? With its deep blue dye, this worldly beauty from a traveling cleric. And this vintage school cap from a child who studied too hard. Let's party till you drop.
The hat slowed down right before it hit her. Jesus. Guess that answers who I should focus on. We gotta take out this healer. Now that I know they're a healer. I should have healed Petronella. She lives! I 
All right. No problem. in the way no matter what shouldn't use it all right oh doesn't matter Let's motivate the Trinel. See if we can get what items we can get from her. If any. Big bomb. Yo, that's good. No worries. Saf's hat. Oink. Black hat is gone. I guess you could say she 
went on ahead. That was... No, we're done here. You're, you're really tough, Marie. <laughs> I think we work together pretty well. It's not this fun when it's with Saf. It's different. I've realized, so are you. You look similar to Saf, and you're outgoing like she is, but you're your own person. I'm sorry Saf didn't tell us about you. We didn't know. We still want to help you rescue her if you're okay with that. Thank you both. I'd like that. I'm glad that I won't have to do this alone, and when we find her, she and I need to have a long talk. Now back to the library. Wouldn't it be, uh... Wouldn't it be weird if, um... Marie, like, doesn't actually exist, and she is Safina? That'd be really strange, wouldn't it? Hmm. So we can just warp straight to the library now. That's cool. But we're gonna go, um... To the gem lady. Maybe there's a tree over there, too. That would be really nice. down here again? Just some more houses. I think this one's locked. I don't want to flip. Because, yeah, either, either Safina is really cruel, or... She really doesn't have a sister, and Marie is also Safina. Why am I in here? I'm gonna go in here. How many gems do I have? Can I check? Six. Nice. I will purchase that. What else we got? Power glove. We don't want that. This one do. I think I do want that. You know what? Nah, we'll get the Texas. We'll get the Texas badge. Cool. But I assume these items have to take up a, uh, yeah, uh, an accessory slot, which is a little bit of a bummer. But maybe we'll be able to use these after we've leveled up a bit more and I won't feel the loss of the stats so much. Uh, so we're just gonna pop on over to the library. And now we can go back to the dorms, right? That's... Right? Why do we want to go over there?
I thought we were getting Safina's hat to go to the dorms. Why do we need to go this way? Like they wanted us to go back into the library? I guess we check the book again? Okay, let's see what we can do. Yo, this cat! Again? It's the same one from before! It attacked us outside Saf's room. Quick, let's catch it before it gets away. Ah, uh, we're at full health, it's fine. Axum, what am I doing? What a ridiculous question. What else would I be doing? I'm reading about sharks! I'm a big fan of sharks. Probably the biggest, to be honest. I'd be surprised if anybody knew as much about sharks as me. Uh... I know some pretty obscure facts about sharks. But you probably wouldn't appreciate their complexity. You know, I do like sharks, actually. I can admit, I'm a fan of sharks. Uh, wouldn't- I'm not sure I'd want to swim, you know, next to one, but... Probably just best to just beat up these books. I will say this game has really accelerated the uh, the punishment for messing up your timing. Especially defense-wise. Attack-wise, it's always been bad. You always do one damage if you mess up. Twenty XP though. We're gonna level up quick. The salve can be used, like, it just keeps track of how like how long ago you've used it. Okay, so since I didn't use it at all last battle, I can use it now. That's really good, actually. It's not two turns from the start, it's just, it's just two turns from when last you used it. 
That's really good. I thought it was always just you could only heal, you know, from two two battles, like two turns. Um, since it was last used, I think that's what I said yesterday, but that's not quite how it is. Defense is high. Papered Barrage only did one damage, even if I nailed the action command. Definitely need that HP. That's good. There's a cat at the front of the library, right? No. I didn't know about this place. In the mirror, it's Purdy? How observant of you, Rook. And the cat that stole the book. I stole the book. I am the cat. I thought the mystery solving gang would have figured that out already. So do we call you Pertesia now? Ha ha ha. Yes. Very funny. Should I know this person? Marie, this is Pertesia. One of the, of the illustrious Abinego family. He likes to stick her nose in our business all the time. If your business didn't put folks in danger, maybe I wouldn't. You're blowing things way out of proportion. Again. She doesn't like us very much. Oh, don't give yourself so much credit. It's this one sister who I have a problem with. I don't care who she's pretending to be friends with this week. What's that supposed to mean? Um, so I guess I'll ask the question then. Uh, why are you inside a mirror down here, and why did you steal the book? 
Talk to the cat. I can't see through my body right now. And I'm trapped in this mirror because Safina stuck me here. She can do that? It's these books she keeps finding, full of old spells, runes. I don't know where she's getting them from. Is is that why the headmistress took her? No. The headmistress was in a complete panic when I saw her last. Safina found something old, something dangerous. She said if Safina uses it, the entire school would be utterly destroyed. Destroyed? <laughs> oh, look, the mystery-solving gang didn't figure this one out. Saf wouldn't destroy the school. She's not dangerous. She's not dangerous? I'm literally the magic mirror. Do I need to remind you how many times you three have saved Eichenfell? I Eichenfell? From the disasters she caused? And right now you're talking to a cat because Safina trapped my body in a mirror in a secret basement. So don't you dare tell me that Safina isn't dangerous. Oh, right. Marit, correct? Do me a favor. Smash this mirror and get me out of here. We need to stop your sister before she destroys this entire place. Do we even know if we can trust her? Erdie's had it out for us from the beginning. And she's obsessed with Saf. This might all be some kind of weird ploy. Nah, I, I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna trust the person who's been put inside a mirror... And is basically, basically can't really do anything. Like, sure, the cat can use glass magic. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think someone who has the ability to put people inside of mirrors is, uh, <laughs> is a little bit more dangerous. <laughs> I'm trapped in an adorable kitten. This has Safina's name written all over it, and you all know it. That does sound like her. Do you know where Safina is, Partija? No. But you'll need another piece of her clothing to find her. And I know where to find it. And what's it, exactly? It's her cloak. That ragged, floppy piece of work she wears. You know it? Matches that ugly hat you already found? I know where it is, and I won't tell you squat until you let me out. I'm not seeing much of a choice. I think we should let her out. I'm still not sure about this. We need that cloak, and she's our best shot right now. If she causes trouble, there are three of us. So I just smash it? Please! I can't stand another minute in this body. Well, here goes nothing. Aw, oh, hey there, sweetie. Sorry for taking over your body for so long. Is that your cat? This is Snowball. She is perfect in every way. I didn't know you had a cat at the school. Well, that was by design. How do you think I was able to spy on you all so easily all the time? That explains a lot. All right. You're obviously the new leader of this trio. If you want the cloak, we have to get to the northern dorms. There are more dorms? It's the fancy dorms where the rich families get to stay. It's the blue building past the alchemy labs. I can get us inside once we get there. But let me get this straight. I'm not your friend, and I'm not on your team. You want to find Saf, and I want to stop her before she kills everybody. But let's get moving. The sooner we get this over with, the better. Artesia joins the party, sort of. Oh, cool. So...
So you can only have three party members active in battle, um, and you can rotate party members at a save point. So maybe that sort of explains why there are save points, like, and you can just backtrack to them, just in case you want to rotate out party members almost whenever you want. Um, but if that was the case, then why don't you just why don't you just let me change party members right now, like in the menu? She's really slow, but uh, she's really strong. Actually, she's got a lot of power. I'm not going to give her an accessory unless she, like, joins us for real, so... busy did I miss anything you missed quite a bit actually um so if you remember uh, let me just I guess um we went back to the library after we got okay we went to the prison because we needed to get the hat back the Safina's hat back from the from Fleur we got the hat we come back to the library, the cat who attacked us with glass in the dormitories last night, um, that cat came back and stole the book that we were reading. So we followed the cat into a secret room in the library, and inside that um, secret room, there was this girl, Pertesia, was trapped in a mirror. She says that Safina put her in the mirror and that she knows where another piece of clothing of Safina's, her cloak, um, is. And she won't help us unless she lets us out of the mirror. So we, we have to let her out of the mirror. Um, and now she's sort of in the party. She hasn't said she's going to stick with us, but um, she is invested in stopping Safina. So that is that is what happened. In the last 45 minutes. Hey. Uh hard nuts baby. Okay, we got a few. Let's buy another one. What is the black acorn? Increases defense by 6. Yo, let's go. Okay, let's go. Alchemical, alchemical lights. This is Olay's advanced runes, and here, Vega's final treaty. Treat treaties? I've been trying to get my hands on these for months, but these books don't even look like they've been touched. To be honest with you, these books are just for show. The super nerds like Rook here spend all their time in the library, or locked up with their own books in their rooms. Heh, <laughs> sounds like a great weekend to me. It feels so weird being in the blue dorms. I don't think I've ever set foot in here before. That actually raises a good question. Why would Saf's cloak be in here, of all places? It's not. The Snatcher took it. 
The Snatcher. Misplaced keys, can't find your glasses, or your left sock is gone and your hair ties keep vanishing. It might be the Snatcher, an ancient creature and a prolific thief. You know, some people have even seen it. A fleshy arm comes right through the floorboards and it snatches away your things. I've read of similar accounts. It was the Snatcher who stole Saf's cloak. She created a passage through the Unseen to get to its lair, just like your secret passage out of the school. Yeah, I know about that too. Where is the passage, and why is it here? It's in my family's storage locker. It was the best access point available, so Saf used my room as she does with all things. I doubt she's telling us the whole story. Okay, so where's the locker? It's at the east end of the building near the bathrooms. I'll open it up once we get there. Do none of you know any protection spells? How have you survived up to now? By using hard nuts, Protesia. We had, we had hard nuts. It's all about the hard nuts, baby! So yeah, I'm not controlling Protesia right now. Just a brick wall, though it looks like there should be a door. Hmm. The toilets are not appropriate vessels for summoning sea spirits. Please use the summoning pools provided in the spirit oval. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ó. Let's go. Everyone in Eichenfell is all about cats, but I prefer my little familiars. Mice? Rats? Now that's where it's at. They're small, stealthy, can sneak into all kinds of places. And best of all, they've got big ears. Good for listening, if you know what I mean. Wait, you didn't let me finish! <laughs> Some witches make a living off potions, conjuration, you name it. But us? No. We've learned that information is what people want. I happen to have some pretty hot goss- I mean... Information? What do you say? For 50 gold, I'll give you the latest and greatest. <sighs> Alright, what do you- what do you got? Ah, we're talking. What do you want to know about? Gilda's secret. My little ones have been scouting around lately, as usual. That Gilda girl picked up some new powers, hasn't she? But they've been watching her and noticed something odd. At the start of a fight, she's all tough and flashy, big explosions. But after she gets hit a few times, she really loses confidence. She, her hits lose their oomph. You ever get knocked down and suddenly, pow. You pop back up on your feet like magic itself lifted you. This is the clutch effect. It doesn't have an official name, but I call it the clutch effect. Nobody officially knows what causes it. But my little one's been watching and we have a theory. We're pretty sure it has to do with your timing. Magic has always had an affinity for brave souls, so if you stand up to your foe and show great resolve, you might just be able to clutch it out. Okay, so my assumption, based on what she just said there, is that with an, if you've scored enough greats in the fight and then you still die, your character might clutch it, you know? Have you visited the next room yet? Notice the wall with a big cat face? Kinda hard to miss. That used to be my room, but it made my little babies nervous. There have been whispers of the elusive creature called the All-Cat. Adventurers, heroes, sailors, and scholars speak of it. Hero heroes. Adventurers, heroes, sailors, and scholars speak of it. But only ever in quiet tones, not to be overheard. Unless you have adorable little spies with big ears, of course. I think these doors have something to do with the All-Cat. I bet that if you wanted to meet it, the key lies beyond them. If only we had some way to make them open. Mirror of Echoes. One of my familiars was snooping around the school once. They stumbled on a secret room with a big mirror inside, but something happened. That poor thing is traumatized by whatever they saw in that mirror. They won't speak a word of it, and I don't want to push the matter. I've asked around, and nobody has heard of such a room except Gwenora, who I'm sure knows something about it. 
but you know Gwenora, she dodged the question and mocked me a bunch. I couldn't squeeze any info out of her, but maybe you'll have more luck. The Ravenous Book. My little ones told me about something they found in the library once. An old book. Like, real old. Every student knows to be careful around old books. Especially abandoned ones. They tend to bite, or chase you around, or spit acid at you. But this one was different. It talked. They said it had a horrible, demonic voice and beckoned to them. Oh, the curiosity it was all they could do to not open it and peer inside. But my little mice have a good sense of smell, and they smell the trap. Still, I wonder what became of that creepy old tome. So there's another cat door here. I forget where we found the first cat door, but... If I'm understanding that skill correctly, Artesia will damage anyone who attacked her between her last turn and now. Um, and if that's the case, that's like a really good skill. I just can't get it right. Why do I even bother? Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you enter. Don't mind me, just muttering myself as usual. I've been practicing summoning since first year, but all I've ever managed to call on are these little grums. Don't get me wrong, they're cool little folks once you get to know them, but I just wish I could do more. Now, Ema, she's a real su- Uh, z z z I- that's- I know that's, um... I'm pretty sure that's like a non-binary pronoun, right? Zay? You pronounce that as just as a... I don't know how to pronounce that. I guess I should look it up.
What's a long E? I have to Google what a long E is. Hold up. Long he. Or long E. So long, long E is just like the E sound, right? Right? Yeah. Like E. So it is it's Z, right? So it's just pronounced Z. Okay. So Ema, Z is a real summoner, right? That's think that's right. Uh, I could never dream of being as powerful as Z is, but hey, I guess that goes to show that having a rich family isn't everything. I'm like, I've, I think I've seen that before. You like this? It's snow. Oh, she made it. Well, they made it snow in their room. Usually you only get snow really far up north, but since that big energy surge, I've been able to conjure it even here. Hmm. Though for some reason, my snowflakes are cubes. Pretty sure snow usually doesn't fall in cubes. It's still pretty though. Well, that is because we are in a 2D pixel art game. That is why your snow is in a cube shape, right? All right, so this is the door, the shortcut back to the main, yep. Hmm. Wait, was this door not? Available before? Why didn't we just come this way before? Whatever. Okay, so this is my room. If you touch anything, the raven herself won't find your remains. Surprise! Er, my leg is stuck. Is it Gilda? Yeah, there she is. Surprise! In fact, I'm feeling great. Uh, I didn't ask. Hey, where's the cute one? Did you find out where Safina is, Gilda? Safina? I'm not looking for Safina. I'm looking for you. Oh, well, you found me. Pikes, she's even cuter up close. I am so gay. <laughs> Oh, right. I want a rematch, but this time I want to be alone with you. I mean, the two of us together with magic. I, I mean, uh, a duel. M Marie? A one-on-one, -on -one, huh? Fine, I'll duel you because this is obviously important to you, but why? Yes! Yes! <laughs> If you beat me, I'll tell you. You got this, Marie. We'll be cheering you on. Let's go. Alright, so we get the Renko vocals again. So I want to use, um, I'm going to use the, eh, we'll buy it, we'll use a hard knife, it doesn't matter. Lose and just be second 
keep missing that move. I might lose here. Great, I am totally trapped. Is she is she encased in her own traps right now? Like can she just not move? Because her traps are in the, she's got traps set here. Like one space to the left of here, here and here. Like that's where all her traps are right now. So she can't move, which means she can't get enough range to use her magic on me. That, or she wants to, or she intentionally wants to lose. Like, I, I can't tell. Oh well. Uh, we take those. I, I lost. Again. I... Just don't get it. I wanted to fight you because you've got new powers just like me. And, and I've been working so hard and I... But I... But I still just suck. I, I suck! Hilda, that's... Leave me alone. I'm just trash compared to you. Always have been and always will be. Hilda... I didn't say that out loud. Oh, it healed me, so let's just go in. Alright. Time to touch everything in Pertesia's room. Alright, we can use this to get into the storage unit. This is a beautiful piano. I don't see them often. Do you play? Yeah. Well, no, not anymore. Aw, that's too bad. Were you any good? <laughs> yeah, I was. I've never been so good at anything. Oh, well, why did you stop playing? I... something happened a couple years back. I fell behind in my classes and had to catch up. My parents canceled my performances so I could focus on school. I haven't been able to play since anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, wow, you used to perform? Well, if you ever pick it up again, I'd love to hear you play. Alright, so where do we even input this password? I don't... I don't really know... Guess we go back this way. I don't want to fight the gem again. Oh. So this cupboard here? Yeah, just... Just a little prick of blood like you did before. Hey, are you okay? I'm fine. Quit wasting time and opening. Let's hurry. So we're back in the spooky area where we shouldn't talk. Birdie is breathing heavily. Come on, we gotta go. Birdie? I'm. I can't. Hmm. On Purdy. I it's coming. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. 
Then hurry! No, 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 no! Oh, she's shouting now. Hurdy, what's happening? I can't... I can't breathe. Oh no, Purdy, we need to get out. Can you stand? We have to go. We've already been way too loud. Can you bring her over? Don't touch. I'm sorry, Purdy. I gotta pick you up. So, she still hasn't said anything? I know it's Purdy, but... I know what you mean. She's always been mean to us, but I've never seen her so distressed. I feel like I should say something, but I don't know what. And with our bad blood, I don't even know if she'll listen to me. It's okay. I'll, I'll speak to her. Uh, hey, Purdy? I... I want to say I'm really sorry. What are you sorry about? You said not to touch you, but I grabbed you and pulled you out. I want to apologize. That thing was coming, and it was scary, and we needed to get you out. Even so, I'm, I'm still sorry. <laughs> Apologizing for that, Marie. You're so sweet. You really are different from Safina. No, that was my fault. I thought I could, that I was... It wasn't your fault, it's okay. You don't have to explain, not if you don't want to. But you think you can keep going from here? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I wish those two hadn't seen me like that. So humiliating. You're wrong about Rook and Nell. They feel just as bad as I do. Okay, you lead the way. Artesia joins the party for real! Hey, Let's go! Alright, so now I won't feel, uh... Now I won't feel bad equipping her with good items. Oh, it's the shoes. Bead. If I take that off of Rook. I actually like Rook in combat, but, um... But I'd rather have someone who can use an ability to give me extra defense, and then, you know, Petronella can heal, so it's like, duh. The, the choice of party members is obvious. What? So much junk! Strange fleshy arm blocks your way. You? Oh, oh, oh. Wow, wow, wow. You're loaded with good stuffs. Uh. Wait. 
How did you get in? You must have a sneak. Always appreciates a good sneak. Are... Are you the Snatcher? Oh, goodness me. Snatcher, taker, under thief, the pink stink. That last one I do not approve. I has many names. You want to see my stuff? I has many stuff, too. Actually, I'm looking for... Oh, 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 I must show you my stuffs. This stuff here, some good stuff. And I can't forget about this stuff. Oh, oh, yes, this is some of the better stuffs. Just, just wait, I'm trying to... Oh, no. I almost forgot some of the best stuffs. Follow, follow, follow. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, are we gonna just fight jeans? Yeah, let's go. I love to fight jeans. You remember that old song, uh, Punch You in the Jeans? Oh, wow. Here's all foes. Oh, okay. That's how that move works. Okay. Oh wow, you can just straight up buy honey crisps? Yo, let's go. I should buy a couple items just so I'm equipped, I feel like. Buy a couple apples.
looking for stuffs, looking for stuffs. I'm busy collecting to add to my collection. You know rhyme for stuffs? Hey, we're looking for a cloak to match this hat. Have anything like it? Hats! I had lots and lots and lots of hats. But some stinky witch took most of them. No, we're not looking for... But I have cloak to match that hat. Perfect. Perfect. Come, come, come. I shows you. get up here. Ah, that's how. The note says, look out! <laughs> we found a cargo jacket. Let's go. Really want that treasure chest. What is that? Completely missed.
Okay. I'm gonna actually heal this turn. Just the golems. I was like, what kind of enemy is that? Salve yet? Uh... Holy shit. Ten damage if you fuck up. Yeah, this is like... Woo!
Isn't there a cat around here? 